time and time again through shadow bans and other forms of suppression, TikTok has shown that it will gladly profit off of black people and POC on the app, but will treat us horribly. I feel that this is primarily due to two reasons. One, the app itself and the creators and whatnot are racist. Um, the app is based in China, which has a very prevalent history of being racist. Y'all cannot deny that. We all saw the Black People Monkey exhibit. That's, that's only one of the most forthcoming events, that it's repeated events of China knowingly being racist. So I don't expect anything out of China to be non-racist. Second of all, the actual users on, you know, TikTok itself, the English version of the app, are also racist. Y'all don't like black people. And if you feel hurt by that y'all, that probably means you're a part of the people who hate black people. So get it together. I mean, if you haven't seen the comments, bullying, harassment and such that black creators have faced on this app simply for existing or advocating for themselves, then maybe I don't know what to tell you. You're on white talk. I really just do not know what to tell you. And really quickly, before we even get further into conversation, because I know people love to pull the, well then don't use it, you know, find another outlet, find another, there's other apps, you can use other apps. First of all, the alternatives usually flop and are whack because of lack of funding, lack of, you know, it doesn't work well, people aren't patient, the hype dies off, etc., etc. And then usually what these apps do is they lead with, oh, you can get monetized here, you can make money here, join us to make money as a creator. And then you have an app that's full of creators trying to make money and not enough actual fans, followers, or supporters who are just there for content. So now that we've put that to a halt, and I'll also, you know, give further backing to, to the whole like, oh, why don't you use another app? But I want to start with first black creators never getting the attention and recognition they deserve for the trends they create half of the popular dance trends created on tiktok are created by black dancers and then we never hear of them and it's the same white influencers over and over who profit off of these trends and just refuse to credit the original creators it doesn't take that much work to find out who created a dance it really does not a popular example of this is jalea and the renegade dance and just how much charlie d'amelio and her family profited off of that dance and just completely ignore Jalea's request to be credited. I'm talking her, Addison Rae, and like Tony Lopez getting to be, you know, at football games, on TV, etc, etc, brand deals upon brand deals for this dance. Meanwhile, Jalea wasn't getting any of the same credit or recognition from that dance that she definitely should have gotten. I will never forgive y'all for the way you hype up the D'Amelios and the other basic white influencers, especially those who have a history of a really yikes history. I'm looking at Tony Lopez and Sienna May and how y'all are still willing to support them even though they have histories of assault and dealing with minors and whatnot. You're embarrassing. You're so embarrassing. I'm embarrassed for you. The secondhand embarrassment is coming through the screen at this point. These white influencers are able to do the bare minimum and get stars and applause but none of that same stars and applause is given to the black creators there are only a select handful that have been able to really like take tiktok and just push them way out there and that's only the uh, you know a select few who still get suppression and shadow banned etc from tiktok um, one person I can think of is Donna, and how Baby Girl is definitely verified popping on TikTok and still got banned for no reason, still gets suppressed for no reason, still gets TikToks that definitely shouldn't flop for no reason. Are you... Please, let's be for real and honest right now. You cannot say, it's just TikTok, it's just dances, why is it so serious? Because these people are be able to create a living and make an entirely new life for themselves off of TikTok. Charlie and her family done got brand deals upon shows, upon big house, upon this, upon that, off of TikTok. If you're able to see the success of these people and how they're able to get their dream cars and homes and lives, you cannot say it's just dances. These dances have the ability to completely bring someone from one to a thousand. So we cannot just, you can't keep going on with that rhetoric. You sound lame, you sound dumb, it's repetitive, it's dull, get over it. 
and I don't want to hear the community guidelines talk baby I don't want to hear it because those community guidelines seem to awfully pick and choose who they want to target personal example whenever I post a dancing TikTok, it gets removed and I have an account warning for minor safety meanwhile the only thing that's showing is the same amount of midriff you would see in a crop tap much less than a bikini, which there are plenty of minors and white creators on TikTok showing nudity to almost nudity. I'm not seeing the bands. I'm not seeing the suppression. Baby, all I'm doing is shaking my hips. The, the dance move. What is minor safety about that? What exactly is minor safety about that? Uh, an account warning? Mm. It's, it's really crazy, but I can scroll on my For You page and be seeing down the entire shirt of somebody, you know, and it, Two million views. Two million views. It's not really adding up at all. These community guidelines seem to be awfully vague and, you know, pick and choosy. The app overall is such a mess. And I mean, I have stayed consistent with that statement. If you've watched my past TikTok videos, um, the that is not your man and the I'm no better than a man videos, I have just, I'm, I don't know. Have I given up on TikTok? I might try and use it to promote, you know, my writing and the YouTube channel, but that app has just drained the life out of me. And I'm not going to allow that. I'm not going to be fighting with these apps over and over. You know, sometimes in Instagram lets me be great more than TikTok, but Instagram is also trying to become TikTok. So really, y'all, it's about to just be a blog or a mailing list and just... Put out my once a, in a blue moon TikTok and Instagram, you know, gather up my peoples and get out of here because we need to go. We need to get off of this planet. But if you've made it this far into the video, I'm interested in knowing what are your thoughts on the situation with TikTok because I don't know. I don't think we'll ever be able to win this battle against them. And really, I just want my people to get their their coins, their blessings, pack it up and go. Don't help that app any more than it's getting right now because if it do, do you remember when black creators stopped creating dances? Did you see how dry the app was? What if we just did that for good? What if we just had an actually good alternative to TikTok or Instagram? What if? I guess we'll never know. Who knows? Social media can go many places, but I have a hard time believing apps like Instagram, Facebook, Facebook and TikTok will be able to really change within a reasonable amount of time.